امام هادی علیه السلام has a beautiful hadith Imam Hadi says, your heart finds it very difficult to go towards the thing that it dislikes, but finds it so easy to go towards the thing that it likes. Right? We've all experienced this. Like, if you don't like studying, studying becomes the hardest thing. You procrastinate. What do you do? All the things which are not studying. Right? So... When you dislike something, it's so difficult to do it. When you like something, it's easy to do it. Now, well, can we change the things we like and we don't like? Through stories, we can. And this is where stories become really important, especially for the younger people tonight. I really hope you use this as a tool in your life. Let's say you want to lose weight, right? There are two ways to look at this. Oh, damn it. This is the first story. I'm a loser, I gained weight, now I have to punish myself, I have to go through all of this difficulty to lose weight, not eat. Every time you are avoiding a food, it's like a step to punish yourself. It's a very difficult thing, right? Who likes this? It's torture. But you can put this in a different story. Say, you know what? From today, I'm going to be starting to get to my goals, to make the most out of my life. I want to start a heroic life. Every time that you avoid a food, it's not to punish yourself. No, it's to get closer to your goal. It's very different. Try it. Just the spin you put on the way you look at things, but it makes a huge difference. You're not avoiding that food to, I don't know, to avoid yourself, to deprive yourself. No, you're trying to get closer to your goal, to the life you want. This small spin makes it hugely different. Another hadith from Imam Hadi alayhi salam. He says when you're upset with a failure, over a failure, let's say you wanted to achieve a goal, you failed, or you made a huge mistake. Who doesn't, right? Made a huge mistake. Imam Hadi says it's, it's beautiful. It says, instead of focusing too much over the failure, turn it around by making a strong decision to fix it. Now, what does this mean? It means be careful of what story you're telling yourself at the moment of failure. Are you telling yourself that now in this story, I'm the failure, I lost, that's it, this is the end? Imam Hadi says, no, this is not the end of your story. Don't focus on the failure. Focus on the heroic part of it. I'm the one who's going to make an amazing decision to fix this failure. In other words, don't think the story is over. You still have time. Make a decision. Right? So you see that even in our ahadith, you have this concept. As soon as you make a mistake, don't, don't get like, too much busy about it. Don't think about it too much. Change your focus. Yes, that was a failure. Fair enough. But now, start a new story. The story of, I'm going to fix this. Now, I will give you another example as well to make this clear because I think this needs examples so that it becomes practical in our life. And this is something I've seen in the life of many of my friends, right? Um, they get married... They have to go find their own house. And you know, people are in different financial situation, right? So I've seen so many of my friends who, for example, are not in a position, their parents are not in a position to support them. They have to um, rent a small house. Um, sometimes they have to like go further from London. They have to go to another city, very small houses. And now some of them look at their other friends who same age, they've already bought a house, detached, semi detached, lovely house. And they look down on their own life. Like, oh, I couldn't do that, you know? What is the story for this couple now? The story of, oh, we're losers, they're better than us, you know, our life is not fun. How can we change this story? Same, we're not going to change their house or anything. How can we change their story so they live better, right? Maybe we can do this. Maybe we can tell them, who said this is a bad story? You're independent now. You're practicing standing on your own feet. You and your wife right now have come together as a team to start a new life. 
This house, as small as it is, it's the effort of your own hand. This is exciting. Work as a team and also rule number one of storytelling. Never think this chapter you are in right now is the last chapter. No, this is just one part of the book. Don't think it's always going to be like this, right? You're going to work hard together and get all the things you want. This is just the beginning. But then, because you started from the bottom, when you get to the place you like, you're going to be so proud of yourself. It's going to be a heroic story that you can tell your grandchildren. How amazing is that journey now? So we're not losers. We're in an adventure. One of the greatest advice I heard, which is so good, especially for younger people, like even teenagers, is that always know the stage you are in right now is not the end of your life. It's not always going to remain this way, right? I talk to a lot of teenagers, and if, for example, they're not going through easy days in school, they don't have friends, for example, which is a common thing that happens. They think, that's it. I'm not going to have friends for the rest of my life, right? What are they doing? They're generalizing the story of these days to their whole life. Right? I'll never have friends. Or I've seen, for example, people my age who want to get married, both boys and girls. They've been looking for a few years. They have a few times been rejected. It's not working out. Like, oh, I'm never going to find love. I'm never going to find a partner. What's happening? Generalizing the story of now for the rest of your life. But a lot of the times we make mistakes. Things change. Right? So the advice was this. Imagine you're in a movie. And this is where you are right now, where you think there's something wrong with it. Imagine this is the first 15 minutes of the movie. Is it not the case that even all superhero movies, the hero initially is going through difficulties? Either a family member, like an uncle or a parent, passes away, or they're being bullied in school. That's the first 15 minutes of the movie. That's your life right now. But things change. You can turn it around, right? And this is what Imam Hadi is telling us. If you're going through a difficult time, know that there are so many other chapters of your life which are still there. 